Hi guys, so today we're doing skin and you guys know I'm such a skin girl like I feel like over the last couple of years I've come to love skin even more and just perfected skin techniques skin products and just oh, my skin like you know, I love the glowy, the healthy, the bouncy looking skin. And I feel like I'm just always trying to do preventative stuff to help long term. So I've compiled some of my favorite skincare techniques that I incorporate into my routine. Definitely not every single day, but more so, you know, my weekly, monthly skincare routine that just have transformed my skin. You guys know if you've been with me for a while, my skin has come a really long way. I'm really excited to show you guys these techniques. And I did partner with Neutrogena on this video. So we're gonna be talking about their dirty 30 challenge so subscribe down below let's get some skin going and my chair is very squeaky but sorry about that <laughs> let's do it i don't know why i did this i think joe's rubbing off of me i'm like hang hang tight or what is it hang loose wait is it hang tight no it can't be hang tight if he ever watches this, he's gonna be very embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, step one, which I feel like is very, very important, is hydration. If I fall behind on like drinking water, I feel it in my skin. So every day, right when I wake up, I'll make a huge bottle. This makes my skin feel really bouncy and moisturized, honestly, especially when you continuously hydrate. So it's not just in the morning, but continuously through the day. It's just gonna keep your skin looking very plump. I definitely think that it's vital to that glowy, bouncy, youthful skin. All right, so my second technique is a good old double cleanse and I was really surprised to learn this But cleansers alone if you only go in with a cleanser while you're wearing makeup It's gonna leave behind up to 30% of that makeup So you know those that eye makeup especially especially waterproof um, matte liquid lipsticks even some foundations I feel like they just like stick to the skin which is perfect for wearing but like obviously at night you want to take it off I mean I think we've all been there with like the raccoon eyes and accidentally falling asleep in your makeup I mean I know I have and that is real bad for your skin so what I've been doing is going in with a wipe first the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes which I feel like can get off that base layer then I'll go in with my cleanser and use it almost as a duo to really get every bit of makeup off all those tiny traces of makeup so they have this uh, challenge going on called the dirty 30 challenge and it's all about like getting every bit even those that last 30% of makeup off the skin so for the purpose of this video I really want to show you guys the power of a double cleanse so I did UV makeup and then I have a little UV black light so I'm gonna do a cleanse with only a cleanser to actually show with the black light how much makeup is getting left over when we don't do a double cleanse so I'm just using a gel cleanser this is the CeraVe hydrating cleanser and you can see we have lots of lip left over some of the eyeliner didn't really come off perfectly and then even on my face so i'm gonna go in with the neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes these basically work off three things one it has water which obviously helps to cleanse they also have emollients which is going to help to dissolve that makeup to make sure your skin texture stays smooth and you don't have that chance of getting makeup locked in your pores that could lead to breakouts even some premature aging and finally obviously the wiping motion is helping to lift all that makeup but you want to be really gentle of course you never ever ever want to like pull on your skin you just want to gently wipe and they're pretty powerful so like i don't really have to tug i just go over my skin and we got some nice smooth clean skin this is how much was left over by the way I feel like that's a lot. And if you do the double cleanse at home, make sure to do the wipe first, then the cleanser, because that's how I would typically do it in like my routine. But I just did it in this video to show you guys the difference it makes. So yeah, definitely try the Dirty 30 challenge. I was actually pretty surprised like when I saw how much makeup was being left behind because you know, sometimes we have those lazy days, but it's really um, interesting to see like how much makeup is left over when you do not do a double cleanse, so. Let me know what you think if you do the dirty 30 challenge. So third is facial massage. Facial massage has recently become one of my personal favorites because it feels amazing. And I feel like it's great for like puffiness in the morning. So I typically do this in the morning time because you know, my face gets a little puffy at night and I just really want that like snatched look. I can't find the light anywhere in right now because it's morning time and I always, film like in the afternoon so anyways i'm literally have my door open right now and if anyone comes over here 
it's gonna be a whole thing but so i'm gonna show you one of my favorite massage techniques um i actually learned this on a dermalogica like zoom class from one of their instructors this is one of my favorite techniques to really just promote overall healthy glowing skin so i like to use my gua sha but you can also actually use a little roller and both of these are the seichu stainless steel ones so they don't um harbor as much bacteria but this is something that i'll do right like following my morning skincare routine and i feel like it just helps to just get everything going it helps to improve blood circulation lymphatic drainage remove toxins from the skin and also target you know smoothing out the texture of the skin because you're increasing that blood flow it's kind of like plumping up the collagen producing factors in the skin and you can actually really see a difference so i'll try to show you only on one side so you can see the difference it makes and if you're like me and have like a little puffiness in the morning this will change the game change the game i'm just gonna press in a little bit of oil before we start our massage routine you always want to go in with like a massage medium so a serum or an oil that's going to allow the skincare tool or your hands you could do this with your hands as well um to really glide across the skin because if you don't do that it can tug and we don't want that because we don't want wrinkles caused by this and i'm using the la mer renewal oil today really nice and lightweight but of course as i always say you can use any oil that you have at home um and we're gonna go in with the seichu gua sha you take it around your jawline with the longer finger pointing up and do this motion from the chin to the jawline five to six times it's always best to move from the middle of the face out because that's how we're gonna best remove those toxins and get that lymphatic drainage going then i'll do shorter pushing motions almost like i'm pushing a little boba out of a boba straw towards the edge of the face and I love gua sha because it's cooling, so it kind of feels good in the morning while you're doing it. I love skincare because it's very relaxing, but at the same time, like you're actually doing something good for yourself. That's the vibe, that's the goal. Then I'll turn the gua sha around, use the rounded edge, and do the area in between my cheekbone and my jawline. And I feel my face actually heat up under this, which tells me that I'm doing it right because you know I'm getting that blood flow going and we really want to stimulate the skin then i'll move around my cheekbone up to my brow bone and each of these areas i'm doing again about like five to six times maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less it just depends how much time i have that day but i try to do five to six times at least then i'll move to my forehead and do middle of the forehead out once again because you're trying to get that lymphatic fluid to like kind of drain to the outside and then down the neck because that's the best way to remove that puffiness in the morning and you can see what a difference it makes like from one side to the next i really really love this technique it's so easy to do in the mornings and you don't need a lot of like equipment so i love this one i do this one daily because it's just so good and finally you want to take a really light touch and again i have a neck cream on already so you don't want to do this on dry skin, just really, really lightly. We're trying to get that lymphatic fluid to drain into this area. So, facial massage, game changer. <laughs> Especially if you're round face club, okay? This, this is a game changer, trust. So, number four is exfoliating. And exfoliating is one that I feel honestly has changed my skin, but also has a bad rap and also can have a big downside okay so this is what we're gonna talk about if you exfoliate right it is so good for helping scars fade for just giving you like a really clean base to work off of instead of feeling like there's like dead skin cells and dry skin and like just build up on the skin if you over exfoliate it's gonna tear your skin up and i think that's what i was doing and i started to get all this texture like it was actually crazy i've never seen my skin that bad because i was exfoliating too often i did twice a day and it was too much so i would recommend finding an exfoliation type that works for you there's a lot of different brands out there there's a lot of different types of exfoliators whether you're looking for something that has a little bit more of a physical i mean i would recommend like a softer physical exfoliation like a rice powder or something like that or something like this this is my godsend. This is the Ulla Henriksen Dutopia 20% Acid Night Treatment. So I found that AHAs and BHAs work best for me as long as I'm not using them too regularly. This one is 10% AHAs, 
PHAs and lemon enzyme. And I swear to you, the first time I put this on was when I was experiencing that texture. I would say about 70% of the texture that I was getting gone after the first use. And now after a continued use, I swear my skin has never looked so smooth. This exfoliator really helps with fine lines and wrinkles and just giving you this perfected base. And when you put this on at night, I swear I wake up the next day and my skin is just dewy and glowy and just, ugh, it's everything. So find a good exfoliator that works for you. This one is literally incredible. Can't say enough good things and exfoliating in general. It, it really does. It's a game changer. It can, it can really change your skin and just give you smooth, glowy goodness. So love that. Number five is facial steaming. I'm like a recent convert to facial steaming, but it's so nice. It feels amazing. Like if you want to do an at home, you know, spa night. And I remember when I was growing up, when I first started to get breakouts, my mom would like boil a pot of water and like let me... <laughs> Like I would sit, put my head over the pot of water and like let the boiling water, not like touch my face, but the steam from it. It really helps to unclog pores, remove any buildup, dirt, trapped sebum, all those things that can later cause, you know, breakouts, blackheads, whiteheads. And on top of that, it also just promotes collagen production, glowing skin. And like I said, I just love the way it feels. And actually it's my favorite to do after a double cleanse, then I do steaming. Then I do my mask, which is my next step that I want to talk about. So obviously I think we all love masking, but I really think that it makes a difference when you do it in that order, when you cleanse really well, steam, then mask because your pores are a lot more open. You're gonna get all those good nutrients into the skin. You're gonna really get the primary benefits of everything, which is obviously key. And honestly, there's a lot of different masks out there at this point. You wanna definitely look for masks that are good for your skin. So I have dry skin, so I'm not gonna go for, I mean, typically I wouldn't go for like a clay mask really, or maybe I'll do like a spot mask with clay mask on the areas that I'm breaking out, but a hydrating mask all over. So that's one of my favorite techniques to do with masking is like almost make a little like mask cocktail on my face, but today I'm using the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites for just that overall glowing lip from within kind of look. This one is super hydrating, so if you do have dry skin, this one is a banger. It's so, so good on the skin, and it feels amazing. Skincare is one of my forms of self-care, so I wanna feel good when I'm doing this stuff. Like, I wanna feel like I'm doing something right for my body, for my skin, etc. And finally, I have at-home skincare devices. So these are two of my favorites, the microcurrent device, which is, this is the new face, and then also a micro needling device, which is this guy right here, which is kind of scary, at least for me, because it has little needles all over it. It was scary at first, but I really have seen like a difference since using them. But I wanted to put these together because you can do these at-home treatments like somewhere if you paid a lot, but just to have them at home, I think is, is really beneficial. It's not gonna be as strong as like going somewhere and actually having a micro needling treatment or a microcurrent treatment, but it's nice to have something at home that you can constantly do and really work into you know your skincare routine. So these are two separate at-home tools. I, I just like to alternate based on what my skin is needing, based on what I'm going for with my skin. So first I'll talk about the New Face, which is my at-home microcurrent device. You have to be consistent with this, but if you're consistent, you definitely feel it starting to tighten and tone the face, the muscles. It's always nice to just feel like you're defining your features. Cause for me, that's one of my honestly biggest insecurities is like my face shape. So I wanna go in and define this area right here. And the way you can think about microcurrent is it's basically like a workout for your face. This machine is sending little microcurrents into the muscles to help to tone the actual muscles. And over time, like just like if you were to go to the gym, over time your muscles get bigger or firmer or more toned, your face muscles are actually going to start to do that as well. And like almost combat, I guess, you could say the aging process, which is obviously a nice thought. So it's really gonna help to just get those muscles working from underneath the skin. So then we have the micro needling device. The microcurrent is targeting underneath like where the muscles are. This is targeting the actual skin. So you roll this along your face. I usually roll up and down and I'm not using a ton of pressure. I'm probably doing about like a two to three on a scale of 10 
in pressure and I'm just rolling really gently up and down my face and what this is gonna do is really gonna help to stimulate that collagen promote softer smoother skin texture and one of my favorite things is that it helps with product absorption so once I do this anything that I put on top of this the serum the moisturizer that we're already investing in it's gonna work better and I also like to really focus on any areas that I have scarring not open breakouts because you definitely don't want to roll the needles along anything that's open that bacteria could be transferred around your face but if you have scars this is gonna help to increase cell turnover and really get that youthful skin back and better than ever and those are my favorite techniques for smooth glowing flawless skin happy skincare vibes I love you guys remember you are beautiful inside and out subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video